What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Okay, so let's keep working on our edit dot underscore edit underscore page edit underscore page dot php in correlation to our new page page underscore form dot php. And something we could have done in the last video, but did not do, was uh, delete all this stuff out. So everything that we copied and pasted over to our page underscore form dot php page. Let's go ahead and delete that, and we'll go ahead and source in our new file. So let's go. I'm going to put all my PHP on the same line. Remember, include. Let's go ahead and pull in our page underscore form dot PHP. Let's close that out. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to drop this down a line. Our new button, not our new button, but we're, the button that we're changing. And it's not edit information anymore. So let's go ahead and just change it to maybe edit page or update page update page and okay so let's go back to our <clears throat> excuse me our page underscore form dot php page and before I forget I want to go down to my text area and I want to add our PHP of uh, content let's make this dynamic I'm gonna do it on one line you don't have to whatever helps you the best in writing code actually you know what? I won't do it on one line I'll make it as clear as I can for you guys. So let's do PHP echo table two. That's our pages table, and we're indexing our contents. And close that out. Give it a semicolon. And I already have my question mark right there. You know what? I'm going to put it all on the same line. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to consolidate this white space right there. I can save that. And what do I want to do? Well, we really just need to change all our variables around because we're using a different table in our database. Before, we were using our information table, but now we're using our pages table. So first things first, I'm going to get rid of info title. And I will just call it page title or page name I think that makes more sense just like that let me go ahead here <clears throat> and look around at our variables because this is incorrect because this is this correlates to our information page so we need to use our table 2 variable table 2 <clears throat> in reference to our menu category field this every time we see cell underscore table one we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste our table two and we're gonna paste over that how about that for starters I see two right here at the bottom let's go ahead and pull that out and paste in table two table two Right here for our position, this pretty much all needs to be restructured. So we'll go ahead and take care of that probably in the next video. Let me look over here to our edit underscore our edit underscore page dot php right now. So I guess in the meantime, we can go ahead and just make this link dynamic. So right here at our content dot php file, let's go ahead and ask add our query to it. So page dot php question mark page we'll set it equal to should be a green there it is php echo uh why am I drawing a blank table two <clears throat> and we'll index ID primary keys. And we can close that out. Looks like I'm uh, missing. Nope, wrong spot. Nope. Wait, what am I doing? Yes. Okay. There it is. All right, now I'll go ahead and save that. So again, that's all I wanted to do in this video. In the next video, let's go ahead and talk about 
this code for our position that we have right here. So good luck with this, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Again, let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, feedback. It's all welcome, and uh, good luck.